Hey guys, so today I'm going to take apart one of these digital angle gauges. I've had this particular one for a couple years now, and I use it mainly for uh, adjusting the angle on my table saw, bandsaw, general angle measurements. So it has three magnets on the bottom, and when you put it on the surface, you're going to want to zero it out. And I have a couple angle gauge blocks here. So this is a 30 degree angle gauge block. So, and this is a 45 degree angle gauge block. So it works pretty well. So let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, so simple enough, but you know, we have our LCD screen here. This is our little chip for the LCD screen. This right here is going to be the microcontroller with the crystal attached to it. And I like how they stack the boards. They have these little stackable headers here. And this is a rotary encoder. And it's pretty neat. It's got a little copper pendulum in there, a little rubber gasket on both face plates there. But what's pretty neat about this is that this copper copper pendulum, it's connected to the rotor in there. So this, this part spins here. And inside there are going to be some plates. This is a capacitive uh, rotary encoder here. And so these are magnets. These eight circles here are magnets and they're actually being used to uh, this is a it's called eddy current damping or just uh, basically it stabilizes the movement of this pendulum because as the copper moves uh, an eddy current is induced into this piece of copper that repels these magnets. So it's pretty interesting that they put that in there. Yeah. And so capacitive rotary encoders are pretty high resolution and they work pretty well, but the downsides is that they are pretty dependent on moisture. So if any moisture gets in here, humidity, your readings are going to be affected. So I think that's why they're using a gasket on the front and rear panels because they don't want any moisture in here at all because it's going to affect the capacitive plates in there. And the rotary encoder used in this is pretty much the same thing that's used in most digital calipers. Uh, you can't really see very well, but there are, you know, the zigzag lines, you can kind of see it, but this uses a capacitive encoder. Bas this is just a caliper, digital caliper that I took the, um, the rule off of and just you know, peels right off. There's just a piece of glass holding the copper strip down. And when you move this, it's just reading that strip. And they work pretty well. But they let in, mo if any moisture gets in here, which is why they use this glass here to kind of insulate the copper. If any water, or moisture, grease gets onto these scales, it's going to affect the readings. But yeah, the, the encoder in this isn't much different than this, other than instead of a linear position, it's measuring the angular position with a pretty well-made little pendulum. Now if you look we even have the nice labeling there, reset power, data clock, ground, VCC. So if you wanted to tap into this, all you would really need is the clock and data signal. And you could use this for something else if you really wanted to. Looks like I broke the 
wire here, so I'll just solder this back on. And that's convenient. That's okay. Appears as if there was some adhesive on here. That's kind of giving me a hard time now. Let's see, I think I can, yeah, I'll just put some more adhesive on from the outside. Good as new. Let's just, let's just double check. Make sure we're good. And yeah, we're good. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked the video. And I'll see you next time.